go find your way over there. That Colonel Jim is a tall glass of water. That he is. Tall, strong, commanding. Oh, and I bet he's like that day and night. Mary, it's Sunday. <laughs> Please have some shade. I will not. He's coming over. Now, why would he be doing that? Because Mary's waving at him. No, ladies, I'm not it's ready. too late. Fix your hair on the side. Hello, Colonel. I'm Dorothy Vaughn. That's Mary Jackson. I believe you met her husband, Levi. Yes, ma'am. Good to meet you. And Mrs. Catherine Gold. She's not married. She's a widow with three beautiful little girls. So well-behaved. Angels on Earth is what we like to call them. Dorothy, slice of pie. I love one. Excuse me. You already have a slice uh -huh. of pie, Dorothy? Pastor mentioned you're a computer at NASA. <laughs> Pretty heady stuff. Yes, it is. They let women handle that sort of th That's not what I mean. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm just surprised it's something so taxing. Mm -hmm. Mr. Johnson, if I were you, I'd quit talking right now. I didn't mean no disrespect. I will have you know, I was the first Negro female student at West Virginia University Graduate School. On any given day, I analyze the barometer levels for air displacement, friction, and velocity, and compute over 10,000 calculations by hand. So yes, they let women do some things at NASA, Mr. Johnson. And it's not because we wear skirts. It's because we wear glasses. Ruth, what's the status on that computer? She's right behind you, Mr. Harrison. Does she handle analytic geometry? Absolutely. And she speaks. Yes, sir, I do. Which one? Both. Geometry and speaking. Ruth, uh, get me the... You think you can find me the Frenet frame for this data? Using the gram Schmidt. Orthogonalization algorithm? Yes, sir. I prefer it over Euclidean coordinates. How did you know the redstone couldn't support orbital flight? That's classified information. It's top secret. Well, it's no secret why the redstone tests keep failing. Numbers don't lie. And you figured all that out with this. Half the data is redacted. Well, what's there tells the story if you read between the lines. You did the math? Yes, sir. And how do you know about the Atlas rocket? Uh, that's not math. That data's not here, like you said. It's classified. I held it up to the light. You held it up to the light? Yes, sir. Well, there it is. Mm -hmm. Atlas. What's your name? Catherine Goebel. Are you a spy, Catherine? Am I what? I said, are you a Russian spy? No, sir. I'm not Russian. She's not Russian, sir. And action. The point is, Your Honor, I plan on being an engineer at NASA. It's such an important story but the idea that it was actually true. People will be intrigued and interested in this story that no one knew about. And it's a story about you know, these women in the early 1960s who changed NASA. They were all these smart, African-American, brilliant-minded women who were hidden. They were instrumental in us winning the space race to the moon. I'm honored to be a producer, but this is important. I have to be a part of this. Well, you know, it's a time, too, where women we're supposed to just be stay-at-home moms and raising kids. But they had really next-level jobs. These women, they loved math, and NASA offered them an opportunity that they would not have had otherwise. What they were responsible for would go on to change the history of this country. Do you have the numbers that can get us up here before Russia? One degree off could have killed those guys. What they did had a lot to do with where we are in space and science today. It's a celebratory film. Black women literally changed the world. You have identification on? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're just on our way to work. 
NASA, så... Have some? I had no idea they hired. There are quite a few women working in the space program. When they told me about the story at the very beginning, it's a story that is true. I just thought, I have to be a part of this. How in the hell did we find ourselves in second place in a two-man race? I refuse to believe that the Russians are smarter than us. Find the genius among those geniuses. My dad is actually a NASA Langley retired research scientist, which is how I got to know about this story. They've never had a colored in here before, Catherine. Don't embarrass me. I knew Catherine Johnson and many of the other women that I'm writing about because they worked here with my dad. I took great pride in the work that, that was given to me. Colonel Glenn's launch coordinates. I have told you this. Computers don't author reports. Fix it. Those are my calculations. My name should be on it. That is not the way this works. What they did had a lot to do with where we are in space and science today. Whose work is that? Catherine Goebel, sir. You did the math. I look beyond. They've been buried in history, pages of history that hadn't been uncovered. How come I've never heard the story about these women who calculated launch windows for the astronauts? We're orbiting the Earth at what speed now? 17,544 miles per hour. NASA offered them an opportunity. They wanted to be treated equally. She is a woman. There is no protocol for a woman. Okay, to I get meetings. that part, Paul. Catherine. She said she wanted this story told. I knew how important it was. It's a story of three women whose God-given abilities were allowed to flourish and make a difference. That's it. These women were the heroes behind the scenes. We all get there together, we don't get there at all. That's empowerment. We're in the fight of our lives, people. Five, four, three, two, one. We have liftoff. Russians, a spy satellite, taking pictures of God knows what. Get us up there, Harrison. I need a mathematician that can look beyond the numbers. Math that doesn't yet exist. It's such an important story. And the idea that it was actually true. Catherine's a gal for that. She can handle any numbers you put in front of her. I never knew there were women working on engineering and aeronautics at NASA during the space race. They were all these smart and brilliant-minded women who were hidden. But they had really next-level jobs. Colonel Glenn? Shall we launch this rocket? We're putting a human on top of a missile, shooting her into space, and it's never been done before. Do you have the numbers that can get us up there before Russia? These women changed the game. It's wonderful to play a strong woman, but they have vulnerabilities. You've been gone for 300 hours. Was mama gone for 12 and a half days? No, but it felt like it. It felt like it to me, too. These ordinary women did extraordinary things. It's crunch time. In 14 days, astronauts will be here for training. Everything we do is going to matter to their wives, to their children. I believe it's going to matter to the whole damn country. Think about what that struggle must have felt like. There's no protocol for women attending. There's no protocol for a man circling the Earth either, sir. The Hidden Figures is about how black and white man and women put a man in space. That's empowerment. There's a real fireball outside. It's getting a little hot in here. We're in the fight of our lives, people. Equilateral, isosceles, tetrahedron, I have never seen a mind like the one your daughter has. You have to see what she becomes. Come on! Uh -huh. Move like that. Hey, Catherine! We all gonna end up unemployed riding around in this pile of junk. Hey, you're welcome to walk the 16 miles. Or I'll sit in the back of the bus. <laughs> and kiss me up! You have identification on? We're just on our way to work at NASA, sir. I had no idea they hired. There are quite a few women working in the space program. You know what we're doing here? We're putting a human on top of a missile, shooting into space that's never been done before. I need a mathematician that can look beyond the numbers. Math that doesn't yet exist. You have someone? Running what I'm playing. Catherine's the gal for that. She can handle any numbers you put in front of her. You're a computer at NASA. They let women handle that sort of... Yes, they let women do some things at NASA, Mr. Johnson. And it's not because we wear skirts. It's because we wear glasses. You've been gone for 300 hours. Was mama gone for 12 and a half days? No, but it felt like it. In 14 days, astronauts will be here for training. 
Everything we do can matter to their wives, to their children. I believe it's going to matter to the whole country. My gals are ready. There's no protocol for women attending. There's no protocol for a man circling the earth either, sir. We all get there together, we don't get there at all. Let me ask you, if you were a white male, would you wish to be an engineer? I wouldn't have to. I'd already be one. Don't you know that we're able?